guys, so today I'm going to film the university Q&A that I said I was going to do a couple weeks ago. I'm just going to pull up some questions. Um, I tried to film this once before and I just was very scatterbrained and I feel like I, again, am scatterbrained, so I don't know how well this is going to go. So I went to the University of Western Ontario in London, Ontario, which is about two hours southwest of Toronto, so not that far away from home. Um, and I just graduated last year, so I graduated with a degree, a honor specialization in history, um, and yes. Um, so the first question is, how was your general experience at Western? Um, I didn't have a good first year, but after first year, I really fell in love with the school, and I like really... I really loved it. And how did you decide what major you want to get into? Okay, so when I was graduating from grade 12, I like didn't really know where I wanted to go. I kind of had no interest in like going to university. I was kind of, I just was, I was just not really in a good place to decide what I wanted to do for the next four years. Um, I actually ended up going to Brescia at Western. So Brescia is the all girls affiliate of Western um, and that's why I did not have a good first uh, good first year. Uh, I didn't like the res, I didn't really make any friends and I just didn't, it just wasn't enjoyable for me um, but I chose to stick it out a, another year and in second year I lived with five guys and from that I knew from like high school and stuff and I had a great second year. I joined the Greek scene and that's when I really started to fall in love with Western and I really think the Greek scene um, helped me fall in love with Western. Um, so that being said, I think that when you're choosing a school and if you're specifically looking at Western, I don't think you should throw away the affiliates just because, you know, I had a bad experience. Western has changed a lot since I was in first year and I think it's changed for the better. But the affiliates like Kings, Huron, and Brescia are all great schools and you graduate with a Western degree, um, but they're actually easier as in the classes are smaller so you get more attention and you kind of like know your prof better and you know having a relationship with the prof is so key in university. I have a lot of friends that went to Huron and they like absolutely loved it and if I could go back I probably would go to Huron um, but I was at Brescia first year and then in second year I switched to main campus. Um, so as I said I didn't enjoy first year for those reasons I think everyone on my floor like Brescia was just like a kind of a closed door environment and no one really like wanted to like party or whatever so just like wasn't really for me and I just didn't really make a lot of friends um, that was that was basically it um, I spent a lot of time in MedSid which is another uh, res on campus because uh, my guy friends from high school were there so I spent a lot of time there and I really liked it so I again, if I could go back, like I probably would choose MedSid or Huron or something along those lines. Um, I didn't, also in first year, I didn't join anything. And I think that is a big mistake because it's, it is hard to make friends in university, um, like it can be. So I think if you don't really have any friends like on your floor, you, you don't see yourself becoming friends. I mean, I think you should give everyone, everyone a shot, but if you don't really like see yourself becoming friends with, with the people on your floor, Honestly, just join something. Like I wish that I had done the Greek scene in first year, um, but there's so many clubs and stuff. So I really do recommend. I think everyone will give you that advice: is like get involved in your school, and you'll just enjoy the experience way more. Uh, when I first started university, I actually was a psych major. So I went into social science with the path to being a psychology major. Um, I majored in psychology because you pick your major after first year so uh, majored in psychology and like absolutely hated it as soon as I majored I like completely regretted it uh, I'm just there's a lot of math involved and not that I'm not I'm, I'm not bad at math but it just doesn't it takes me way longer than university math goes so, like every class you be switching a subject in math when like I needed more time um, I had a tutor in high school and like I don't think I'm bad at math, but I'm not like amazing at it. So, um, yeah, it just really wasn't for me. Also, yeah, it just really, I just didn't like it. So I started in second year, I kind of realized that like I loved history and I started taking some history classes and then by third year I fully majored in history and then I had to take all my prerequisites, took some summer courses. So I kind of jammed a four year honor special into 
two and a half years, which was pretty insane. Like I was very, very stressed out. I don't recommend doing that. Um, the amount of papers I had to write was insane. I remember the guidance counselor saying, I really don't recommend what you're doing on your schedule. And I was like, no, I need to graduate with the right degree. I can't be here longer than four years. Um, so yeah, and I honestly thought when I graduated, I thought that I was just getting a major, like a normal major in history. So I was like, there's no way that I got anything better than that because I switched so late. And then before graduation, I like looked to see what my graduation was and it said like, you got an honor specialization in history. And I was like, what the fuck? Like I literally found out a month before graduating <laughs> that I had that degree, which was insane. Um, okay, so yeah, picking your res and stuff. I mean, like it's really, you just have to go to the university that you want to go to and you have to like check out all the reses, but there are different styles of reses. There are like normal reses with the, you know, roommates and whatever. There's singles, there's singles with sharing bathrooms, there's apartment style. There's so many different kinds and it's just, it's honestly personal preference to what you want. Basically it. Um, in terms of food, usually they have like a meal plan. Can't really get out of it. Food's usually not that great to be honest. So I mean, you can't really do anything about it, but keep like a mini fridge or something in your room and like some snacks and like a kettle or something. That's what I did. Kath usually has kind of weird hours too. Um, but yeah, like you just gotta do it. Everyone, everyone does first year. So you just have to like, just do it. Uh, in terms of studying, just do your work. Like you're going to go, when I first went into university, I was like, wow, university is so easy. Like they don't assign homework. Like well, I'm going to watch Netflix all day in bed. Like no, you can't do that because when the exam rolls around, you're not going to get good grades. Even if you like cram last minute, you're probably not going to get the best grades. I think I found my, my groove in terms of studying and writing papers by fourth year. By fourth year, I was getting very good grades and I was very happy with myself. Um, but I do wish that I had started earlier just like, you know, doing my work. So coming home from class and like doing my readings and stuff. Um, if you just do them, I mean, honestly, just do your work. Like. The thing is with university is that it's actually impossible to do all of the work that you're inside. So you kind of have to like prioritize what work um, you you want to do or like you have to do. So, you know, start writing that paper early, skim the readings and like find the major points of the readings and stuff like that instead of like reading word for word and taking so many detailed notes. Just do like find the whole, like understand the whole idea instead of like the specific points for studying. Um, it is important to have a relationship with your prof. So, I mean, you should go to office hours. I, the closer I relationship I have with my prof, usually the better my grade was. Um, so just use their office hours. Like that's what they're for. Um, roommates, my roommate was a, a foreign exchange student from China. We weren't friends. Like she didn't really speak English that well. So it was kind of, there's a huge language barrier and, um, I, yeah, we weren't really friends. We just kind of like did our own thing. But I mean, a lot of people that I know, like their first year roommates became their really good friends. So it just is luck of the draw, really, if you're just doing like a random roommate. I think you can have a job and work, sorry, you can have a job and university. I had a job all of second year and I worked three days a week um, at a bank. You just have to find a job that works for you and you just have to be really good at time management and like really focus your time. I feel like I went out a lot, I got my work done, and I worked a job, and you know, like, I felt like I was really balanced, so you just have to be productive, and like, you know, if you know you want to go out this Thursday night, then like, do all your work Thursday during the day, like, go to the library during the day, and like, you just have to, tr what you have to do is treat university like a full-time job, so like, nine to five, or you know, whatever, is work time, and then you can go out at night, basically. That's kind of how I saw it, like, it was just like a full-time job. Um, I do really think that the Greek scene changed my university experience. I, do, I think that had I not joined the Greek scene, I wouldn't have had the experience that I had. Um, I like love Western. I literally just got back from Western today. I went to visit some friends for St. Patrick's Day and I think the school is an amazing school and like I felt like I had a very well-rounded education as I got like a, a great social aspect of it because you know, as much as you are in university to get good grades, like you also are there for the social aspect of it. So I wouldn't write that off um, in terms of like what you're looking for. Um, 
and I yeah so that's basically it and then so after second year after I lived with five guys I met some girls in my sorority we became really good friends um, and I moved in with one girl in third year so we lived in a two-bedroom apartment and then in fourth year I lived with Sharin and my the girl that I lived with again in third year you've probably seen her in my vlogs um, if you have watched me for that long uh, and we all lived together in fourth year in a, like a big apartment and we lived with all of our friends it was literally like the cast of or the situation of friends like the apartments on the floor like we had the best fourth year and um, yeah I like when I look back on university like I, I loved it and I'm very happy as to how my path went and I think that is because of the Greek scene and um, because I felt like I had a smaller community inside of Western. Um, that's basically all I have to say. Uh, if you have any other questions, I can maybe do like a part two. So you could leave a comment down below if you have any other questions. But you kind of just have to like, you have to do it yourself and you like have to figure it out on your own. And no one can really like tell you how to do university because everyone's university experience is going to be different. If you're applying to university, I would and you know you're doing your acceptance I would say don't go just because your friends are going like you have to go to the university that you want to go to so just keep that in mind um, but that's all I have to say I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any other video requests I'm kind of like I don't I don't really have any ideas right now <laughs> so um, if you have any video requests please also leave those down below please follow me on Instagram subscribe like this video you know do all those supportive things because they really do help me out and I will talk to you soon bye